Welcome back to Naval Action, episode 57 of A Letter to the King. If you're new to the series, this is where I normally keep us up to date with what's going on in the world of PvP on the Euro PvP1 server and soon to be the global server. Um, however, in the elongated shadow of the wipe, this is going to be a super short one. I'm just going to give you an update based on what's changed on the test bed since we were last there last week. Um, so the Great Wipe is, is hopefully a week today, um, the end of this month, start of May. So what's changed on the test bed? Well, in summary, TP to the capital is no more. Instead, you get a tow to nearest port, nearest friendly port, and you have to have nothing in your hull for that to work. It's more of a I'm stuck feature, and it's part of the naval Sharia law to get you out onto open world. Um, equally, you can't TP to or from a free port. Uh, you can TP between your own ports, but not to or from a free port. Um, the shipyard is back. You now need shipyards of different levels to craft different ships. So that eats up a slot in your buildings if you're a crafter. And there's a new thing called a workshop. I, I, I've been asking around, but I'm not quite sure what the workshop does. Um, as I said last week, if you, you've got two choices really, the money or the box. If you sink a ship, you get some money and some PvE marks, unless of course it's PvP, then you get PvP marks. Um, if you capture a ship, you get nothing except for the loot which you have captured. And you also get to keep the ship, of course. Um, make sure you've got the fleet perk on. Um, you need to have um, enough fleet spots, I suppose, in order to capture the ship. Um, you'll find crew cost is out cheap. Now, cannons, you now buy them individually, and they cost so much money, it's unbelievable. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, they seem to have reduced a lot of the big money trade missions. Now, that could just be after the reset I didn't find as many. There's still a few to be had. I've still made a bit of money. Um, but basically, the whole game now... It really needs cooperation to progress at any speed. So let's just have a, a little look at some of what I've been talking about. So here I am in my lovely Trincomalee. It's not that lovely, it's teak. Um, and if we go to, let's go to buildings. Oh, we can't do that there. Let's go to, where is it we want to go to? Um, shop and cannons. So I'm in a Trink. And so that is 24 18 pound cannons, uh, which I think are sixth class. No, no, fourth class. Here we go. Now, look at this 6,000 each. So for 24 cannons, 144,000 gold. That's more expensive than the ship. Um, I don't know if there are any ships on sale at this port. Let's have a little look. Yeah, so uh, not many. Um, but what you'll see is now, if we if we come here to my beautiful trink, and I take off the cannons, you'll see it says 28. So I would have to buy 28 of these babies, which if, as I say, I come here, uh, we go down to 28. It's 168,000 gold, and that's just for one deck of guns. So that is really crazy expensive. Um, and of course your crew, um, as always, is expensive. They're 500 gold a pop. Um, so I haven't actually made it up to full. Well, I could go to full crew now. Look at that, there we go. Um, so you really do need to make your mind up as to whether or not you're gonna capture a ship or sink a ship for your PVE marks uh, and your PVP marks. Uh, again, you can't unlock your, oh, I've got, now these are your perks, sorry, but your ship, if we go back to the ship, um, you can't, I haven't got any, any knowledge on this particular ship. Uh, and if I did have knowledge, then I could add in some of the ship bonuses um, and some of the permanent upgrades which you can craft. But that's about it for this week's Letter to the King. It's a really short one. Let's just go back and have a look at a reminder of what's new on the test bed this week, which means it will be coming hopefully next week with the wipe. God, I can't wait for the wipe. It's um, 
boring as to be honest at the moment. I actually got myself on the test bed so I was almost ready to craft my first ship um, and then there was a bug where it wouldn't let me craft a ship even though I had dock space it was telling me I didn't have dock space and then the next day they wiped it and put us all back to zero so I'm kind of I've lost the love for trying to craft a ship because it takes two weeks to get all the mats together by the time I get all the mats together it will be wipey wipey on the main server so there you go the world record shortest ever letter to the king um, not much in it, but then there's not much in it. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, I'll see you on the test bed, and I will catch you.